What's up, everybody? It's me, Troy, from First Newbies. And uh, today we are talking about copper. That's pretty dark on its own, yeah. So, um, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or copper for short, was adopted pretty early, like in, I think, the late 90s, like, whenever the big boom of uh, the internet was. <clears throat> and then somewhere along the line, YouTube came in and they were like, well, our demographic is 13 and up. Most of our viewers are 13 and up. And then so, FTC agreed and for quite a bit actually, there was no loss of features. But now, there's a problem. The FTC sued YouTube. Um, and so, yeah. We need a way around that as creators. But YouTube needs to be on our site too, so YouTube, if you're watching this, you better cooperate. So, um, I know I can't do this alone. Oh, and I know she might not have much to add, but please welcome your very own Funny Monkey Jokes. Hello. Just come in the set. Be grateful I let you come in. Okay. All right. So, uh, what do you know about uh, this whole cop and do? Like how it started, well, what's going on, or how they could like fix it? I I really know basically all about copa like like you know. But I know more than you because I watched lots of videos I just from this guy called your YouTube lawyer. Me so too. you gotta watch those Me videos. Too. They're in. Don't put it yourself. Put it down there to the description because that's where I'm going to be putting the links to those videos. They're really helpful with this video. There was also this video uh, that I watched by a guy called um, Video Game Story Time about how it's going to end. And I actually think Game Theory also had a video on how it's going to end. And I think it's actually a lot simpler than that even. You... YouTube just needs to make it like one or a, a couple of these changes and it will be easy enough to you know fix the issues that they're already in as well as fixing any future issues they might have um, so let's get into number one so, I yeah. anything you want to add before we get on to number one I just want to say that I want there to be an off trim wait no 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 we're gonna we're getting to that Okay. So, number one, it's either some sort of age gate with the targeted ads, or some sort of, like, system for, um, a gray area or mixed audience option. So, if you didn't know, in COPPA itself, it literally says, hey, anybody who makes websites, you can make a middle ground option and we won't sue you. That is like the single best way YouTube can... It, it, will, it won't sacrifice like any revenue loss. There won't be like any sort of like creator loss. They won't flee the platform. And there won't be any future or current problems with the FTC. You know, they won't sue them obviously. But they also won't... You know, just bring it up, you know. it It's a win, 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 win. So, um, uh, you you get the point. Everyone wins in this situation. But if YouTube's too lazy to implement that feature into YouTube Studio, because right now we can only pick for kids or not for kids. Yeah. Basically, what we have to do is you would have to make some sort of age gate system. Like, you have to be signed in and... You have to have some sort of way to consent that you're 13 or over. And the way that I thought of doing this is like with a password. Because, like, you know. If or you, like maybe a picture of yourself with a password. Like a password. Because, you know, like there are lots of things that you just like to unlock your phone. You use a password or face ID, but that's a whole other thing. So you would use your password to sign in 
to if um, you were like on the regular YouTube, and then you could. I agree. I agree. And then you could like YouTube could put all of the they could put all like the all the comments, all the targeted ads, all the info screens, all the end screens, everything they want on there, and they wouldn't have any troubles. Although they wouldn't need to do that if they already have the first option done. So, uh, any comments before we move on to the second? And honestly, that's a way dip in quality. But do you have anything, any comments about this first option? I just want to say that if you're really trying to prove it, you really want to prove it, you could um, like put a picture with your password. If you really wanted to. Like your channel picture? Because that really wouldn't work. Like you could just download a JPEG of it and then... Like a picture of yourself. But would that be like your channel picture? Or would that be like just a regular picture? Just be like a regular picture of yourself. Huh. Be a selfie. I don't know how that would work because you could just get a JPEG of it from the internet and upload it. And then you could sign in as anybody you want from the internet. So like, that's a whole other conversation. Yeah. You know what's also a whole other, a way different quality. But this is still pretty good option. It's to limit, like in combination with the password system. They could also implement some sort of thing that if somebody under 13 signs in, to their account, they would automatically be like redirected to like a, a YouTube kids style site, but in the regular YouTube, and it would turn off all the stuff that would be turned off on it for kids content. Um, and of course, that would also be compliant with COPPA, and uh, of course, make creators come back because you know COPPA's resolved. Win, 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 win. We're all coming back. And then the third option. And honestly, the worst of the three. Or for the second option, you could also like just make it so that you'd have to like with the password system, yeah. But you could sign in on YouTube Kids and like upload from YouTube Kids so that like child creators won't have to like be over 13 to upload. And that, that would just comply with COPPA left and right. That would, like, be textbook COPPA example. And, again, why YouTube didn't do this already, I am not sure. But if you, YouTube, if you're watching this video, please do that. Because uh, we need we need YouTube to survive. Uh, so, so, any comments before we go on to the um, last thing that YouTube's probably going to do? I just want to say that. By doing this whole thing, they're putting YouTube kids to waste. Yeah, I know. I mean, why, when they went to court about comma, I mean, they didn't even mention YouTube kids. Like, they, that would have, like, stopped everything that... There would have been no sort of conflict whatsoever. And They could have just gone on with their life. Yeah, they could have gone off with the YouTube life. So, now, on to... The third option, and that is to just go on with this plan. I mean, it could work, but, and I mean, there is an adult option, but that doesn't, even that doesn't save you. So, like, if you were to choose, like, a adult option, then you would, of course, have to make adult videos. So, um... But if, let's say you make kid videos, but you don't want to get rid of all those amazing YouTube features that are gone with Made for Kids content. Then you just select Not Made for Kids, you make kids content, and then, then the FTC steps up and says, Hey, you're violating COPPA. And they make you pay what? Forty, $24,000? $42,530 per video per violation. That's the exact number per video. Like like four thousand five hundred dollars. 
and thirty dollars per video per yeah, violation. Yeah. So if you say your entire channel wrong, oh man, you're gonna go bankrupt so fast if you have lots of videos. Oh, and yeah, don't That's forget That's what this. I was gonna say. So please, YouTube, try one of these approaches. One thing that can help you. Come on, you're just making yourself go to waste. Like one of the I'll biggest, one of if not the biggest video sharing site in the world, and then you know you just you're just wasting away. This is oh yeah. no, I am. I think the best way for you to no. to to solve this problem is just take it away. Take made for kids and not made for kids away. Just tell Kaba if if YouTube if YouTube ever comes into. A disagreement with the FTC again. They can just walk into the court office and say, um, FTC, we're in that gray area you talked about in the COPPA by literally two sentences and they're done. I mean, like, granted, it would probably go on for more than two sentences, but, um, you probably, you guys get the point, right? They can, like, not even have to worry about it. They can just go on with their lives and then just tell COPPA, hey, we are in the middle ground area in Kappa. They, they show them Kappa, you know, the, the, in the middle ground area. They, they describe. Um, I'm going to put um, uh, a thing in the description where you can comment on uh, the regulation. Like, you can make a comment, so please do that. Also, there's this petition going around asking for more information uh, and clarification. A clarification on the case. So, uh, if you would, wouldn't mind signing signing that, if you can. And then I will also put, a, of course, that link yes. in the description to uh, things, my, your YouTube lawyer. Have, he has amazing videos. I have, I have one more thing to say. Uh, so, so please check those out if you can in the description. So, um, yeah. And can you see me with her final thought? Like YouTube, if you're watching this, just. Like, literally YouTube, just take away that whole option of kids and made and not kids. I mean, YouTube, I mean, they they chose to do this you're and they were, like, pretty dumb. I mean, they just gave in to you're, the FTC. You're putting, you're putting YouTube kids to waste. Why, why, why? I mean, there were several different options for YouTube. I mean, they can do whatever... They of want. these three options that they feel like, or anything different, just make sure us creators are, are us creators aren't wasting away. So like, and that we're not, and that we're safe, and that our channel will still be up. Yeah, your channel can be subject to termination from the FTC. So, um, uh, now it's time to get uh, untriggered from that video. If you guys hate Kappa and enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Uh, click those three links if down below. So make sure to click the links down below. Make sure to smack the like button. And of course, subscribe to Troy's Movie. So we will see you guys next time. Bye.